out They screaming peace when there ain't no peace Israel pop a sign in the streets Look at me, the center of attention Black Messiah coming with a vision Coming with a vengeance Black Messiah coming with a vengeance They screaming peace, it ain't no peace We pop a sign in the streets we seeking peace in the streets of Babylon Brandison, Glock 40, tucking heat like a carry-on Sinning against the fathers, got me sleeping, I napping on Christ the King revealed, this area phenomenon Kick it against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire come We purified, better than gold, got my Bible on And that's all that I know, where Babylon Gon' fall, watch it blow, ayy Switching it up, the nation's gon' drink it, I'm talking the cup Don't care what you thinking, believe in the gospel, the godly just thinking The fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner, the eel of the flesh The wicked, the sinner, your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin If they is, if they mind, they don't repent this If you really love God, stand up for your community. If you really love God, teach our women to love themselves. If That's you really right. love your community, tell these young brothers stop selling drugs, stop right. knocking each other off. Bring it your out. city oh, called Crack God. Town. Oh, your hey, city known for crack. crack. What the hell wrong with you? Bring it you out. messed up. And your community messed up because you messed up. You the issue. You the problem. Your That's Christian right. church the problem. And you old weak black man, you the damn problem. Read it again. I tell you nay, but except you repent, Christ said, except you brothers and sisters out here repenting your sins, read, he shall all likewise perish. You're going to all die if you don't repent of your sins. Give me Luke chapter 26, verse 17. Bring it up. This, my sister, this black man can't give you no solution in your community. He trying to holler at you. He 56 years old, trying to holler at the young women in the community. 56 years old, still smoking weed. 56 years old, still eat feminine, weak as hell. Still got dreadlocks, old as hell. Cut your damn hair and be a man. Read. Give me that real quick and um, what I said again. What I said. He a young man. He 30 years old. He 30 years old. You 56 years old, acting like a damn child. You said Man, you, need, you, need, you need to go and stop smoking that damn dope you, you smoke. Do, do. You, you been smoking. You been smoking. You an ex-dope fiend. Look 26. Give me a little baby to 26. You an ex-dope fiend. I can tell how you talk. You an ex-dope fiend. You an ex-dope fiend. You an ex-dope fiend. Yeah, I used to smoke weed. I smoke weed. Guess what? I repented from it. Now you smoke crack. I can tell by your teeth. Read. The biggest chapter 26 and verse 17. Watch this, sis. And I will set my face against you. Sister, God set his face against us. Look at our community. When you go to the white man community, it don't look like this. You go to the Chinese man community, it don't look like this. You go to the Middle like Eye community, it look like this. Because like God you. set his face against us because of men like, like this. This ain't people leadership. Like How are you going to lead us? You, what have like we made this man the president? Like what the hell are you going to do for black people? What have we made him the mayor? Everybody what the hell are you going to do for black people? Up. What is he going to do for us? Not a damn thing. God got the solution. God said that he's going to set his face against us. And ye shall be slain before your enemy. Hey, why we dying? Why the white man shooting us down and nothing happened? Because you got a governor. You see that? You see this? Dumb as hell. Why the white man shooting us down and nothing happened, sis? You ain't got no sit Thank you. Exactly. They that hate you shall reign over you. God said they that hate us going to reign over us. They over God us. said, they, they that hate us gonna reign over us. So they why the white man rule? Why the white man rule? Because of you. Yeah, because of me. Because of, of me. Because of, of, like of old men right. like you. Right. Old men like you. Right. No old understanding you. of the Bible. Give me that real quick in Jeremiah 325. That's why we get ruled over. That's why we don't own none in our community. This is why we get shot in the streets. This is why we don't have our own business. Watch this, read. Jeremiah chapter 3, bro. You don't know no damn truth. All you know is lies. You came up here and said Constantine was a white man. Constantine was black, brother. The Holy Roman Empire was black men. You don't know nothing. You a dummy. Read. Jeremiah 3, 25. We, I got, we got you on camera. You yeah. said Constantine was a white man. I said you listened to Did you say Constantine was a white man? Did you say Constantine was white? Did you say Constantine was white? Did you say Constantine was white? We teach it against Caesar boys here. No, you ain't. What we teach you? What we teach you? You teach the same thing. What we teach you? Why you teach the same thing? What we teach you? Why you teach the same thing? Ask my question. What do we teach that he teach the same thing? What do we teach that he teach the same thing? Give me wrong with nine thirteen. Teach hell, nigga. You in hell right now? Teach it fear. This hell right now. You need to fear, cause God gonna kill you if you don't repent. I don't fear no God. Romans nine verse thirteen. You better fear 
Spirit, the judgment coming for you real soon. I'm telling you. I Remember I said this this I day. This brother right here, he don't repent, he's gonna die. God. Read. As it is written, oh Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Now, the Bible said God loved the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American. Wait. God loved Jacob. But what? Esau have I hated. But the so-called white man, God said he hated him. God said he hated this man right here. So how we teach what he teach? Exactly. Revelation 13, verse 10. Turn it up. We you know why the condition is going on in our neighborhood because we don't repent of our sin. That's why. Revelation 13, verse 10. Watch this, sister. You ain't never heard this in the church. And he can't teach you a damn thing. All that he can teach you is how to roll up a split. That's it. Read. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. He that lead him into captivity. God said he that lead blacks and Hispanics into captivity, into slavery. Read. Shall go into captivity. You hear that, sister? Y'all brothers hear that? God said in the Bible. That those that put us on chains and shackles and put us on ships, they going into slavery. That's what God said. All the nations that have destroyed your people, God said they going into slavery just like we went in slavery. He can't teach you that because he emotional. He weak. He effeminate. Read. He that kill him with the sword. The Bible said he that kill black man with the sword. Read. Must be killed with the sword. God said they going to get killed. So how the hell is we teaching white man Jesus? White man Jesus ain't never taught you that. Emotional, weak, evil black men. And that's why we dying in the streets of Jackson, Mississippi. That's why we dying in the streets of Canada, Mississippi. Because of weak men just like this. And ready to step up for their community. Step up for your community then. Start something for your children. Start something for your people. You can't do it. You're a sperm donor. That's it. All you can do is put a seed in a woman. But you can't take care of it. Weak as hell. Watch this. Read. Give me Jeremiah 325. Go through all my took care of Okay, good then. How about how about you go teach him there? How about you go teach him there? All my kids good. My kids good, my brother's good. How you doing, bro? What's your name, bro? What's your name, bro? Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 25. Hey, sister, let me ask you a question. Thank you, sis. I want to ask you a question. Let's be serious. Let's be real, right? Could this man lead our community? If you want to lead, he can lead Tell him, sister. Could he lead our community into righteousness, sister? Could they lead you see how she looking at you? Exactly. Now, now you will take it. We want we what we asking is, hold on, sis, because you asked a good question. What we asking is this, right? This is what we ask. Give me first Kings two and two. This what we want to show you what God said about a man, sis. Real quick, before you leave, before you leave, say, hey, see if he loves you enough to let you hear the Bible. See if he loves you enough to let you hear the Bible, sis. Watch this. Let me show you. Let me show you something, young man. Don't leave, young man. I want you to hear this, bro. I want you to hear this. Read. First Kings chapter two, verse two. I go in the way of all the earth. Be strong. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. You hear this? The Bible tells us to show ourselves. Get home before you leave. One sec. Just one sec. The Bible say, show ourselves men. God gonna tell us how to be men. And you tell me he can fit this. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. You hear that? And keep the charge. You hear that, young bro? God said, this is King David talking to his son, King Solomon, before he died. He says, show yourself a man, right? Read. To walk in his way. To walk in the ways of God, bro. You know any of the ways of God, young bro? Give me Exodus. Let them do this. Exodus 20, verse 13. Exodus 20, 13. Look at that. They want to call the police on the man out here teaching the Bible. Typical black man, typical black woman. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Look at that. Look at that. Typical. Drug dealers on your corner every night, but you don't call them. You don't call the police on us. And there's niggas out here selling drugs every day. But you don't call the police on us teaching the Bible. You the devil the Bible speak of. Thou shalt not kill, bro. You hear what the Bible say? Thou shalt not kill. Is there murder going on in Canada? Is it murder going on in Canada, young bro? Yeah. So, you wait know a minute. Young bro. Who's supposed to be teaching? No, no, no. Let him learn. Let him learn. You see, this is the devil. You don't know who you is. This brother trying to learn. And the old man, hey, has he ever tried to teach you before, young bro? Young bro. Young bro, has he ever tried to teach you before? Hmm? Has he ever tried to teach you before? I'd better be over here. Huh? huh? You better be over here. Hey, guess what? Guess what, young bro? Do you know what we got here? Guess what he was doing? You know that, He was on the corner. Smoking weed, smoking cigarettes. Before nigga, we got he here, he was on the corner smoking weed, smoking, weed, smoking cigarettes. Then we get here, now he want to teach you. You just talking. We, now we get here, now he want to teach you. Talking. You see what you I'm saying? Do Read it again. Thou shalt not I kill. Do. The Bible says, Thou shalt not kill. Do we, do we kill in Canton? 
I it's the drug dealing going on again. Give me a song. Give me Isaiah 51 verse 20. Isaiah 51 verse 20. We're going to wake up the city, man. We're going to see what's going down in Canton, Mississippi. What's going down in Jackson, Hold on, Cleveland. 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 Hold on,
And, and his brother, 56 years old, that means he was born in probably like, what, the 60s, 70s, the height of the civil rights movement. He ain't learned nothing from my ancestors. Right. He ain't learned nothing from Martin Luther King. He, he ain't learned nothing from Malcolm X. Do you understand? Martin he ain't learned nothing from the men. Baby, he, put, he put his life on the line for his men. He wasn't selling, he wasn't uh, slinging dope and smoking dope in the hood. He put his life on the line for his people. You ain't willing to do it. Really? How is the most fine gold change? How is the most fine gold change? This man right here done turned to change. Change fine gold. Read. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out into the top of every street. The, pour, the, the stones of the sanctuary is you. God say you pour it out to a corner of every street. You at the head of every street corner. That's black man. Read. The precious stones of Zion. The what? The precious sons of Zion. The precious sons of Zion. This oppressive son of Zion that lost his way. <laughs> Messed up, bugged out, high as hell, nothing to provide his community. Boy. Now give me Look Revelation up. chapter 1 Look verse 14. Look it up. <laughs> Don't Black man messed up in his head, can't teach his family nothing, can't child teach his people nothing, weak as hell, you know emotional as hell. You know nothing Revelation chapter so 1 verse 14, his out. head and his yeah. hair were white like wool. Jesus Christ had white woolly hair, Jesus Christ had an afro, Jesus right. Christ was a black right. man. Right. Right. That's right. Right. As white as snow, right. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, Come on. and his feet like unto fine bread. As if they burned in a furnace. Jesus Christ was a black man, brother. Dark skin. Dark brown skin. As if they burned in a furnace. That's We're right. talking about the black man, the black woman. That's We're right. We're talking about the solutions to our community. Give me that real quick in Wisdom of Solomon 16, verse 12. Bring it up. You know? I'm out here to Cannes, Mississippi to teach you the holy word of God. Aha. To stop you from selling drugs. To stop city, you from people. killing each other. To stop you from the going out this mischief in the community. That's what we come here to teach. Read what you got. The I book of, give me Exodus uh, 20, 13. Bring it up. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Teach the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. Now, what's wrong with that message? Thou shalt not kill. Ain't that what God say? No, what's the problem God with it? Read. That. That Thou shalt not kill. Read. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Do you commit adultery? Absolutely. Do you commit that? No, I do Have not. You I got one wife. Nope. How you commit? One wife. Nope. You commit one wife. Nope. You one wife. Nope. One wife. Nope. You commit New creature in Christ. You commit one man. One wife. You commit one man with one woman. That's you what we tell us. Have you done that? The first woman you, you had was your wife. How you know that? Because I know truth. What you mean you know truth? What about truth? You, you just said that? one guy law. He just said he wasn't supposed to commit a daughter. I said there wasn't no law. He said that from my yacht. It did. And it's Thou shalt not, not commit adultery. The Bible say you're not supposed to commit adultery. This is where murder come from in our community. Because a brother catch another brother sleeping with his wife. Right. A right. sister catch another sister sleeping with her husband. Right. God say don't do that. That's why the community is destroyed. No. Right. Read. You know Thou shalt shall not steal. Is it stealing going on in Canada? It's stealing going on in Is it stealing going on in Canada? Is it stealing going on in Canada? Yes, it's stealing going on in Canada. It's stealing going on in Jackson. It's stealing going on in Marine. It's stealing going on in Atlanta. It's stealing going on everywhere. You're right. But they're still evil. Okay. We still shouldn't be doing it. Because they're still evil. It's stealing going on everywhere. You're right. But they're still evil. Okay. We still shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, we're well, actually in chain with the word of God. My brothers don't steal. Do you steal? Do you steal? Do you steal? Do you steal? Absolutely. We changing ourselves and our community. But the thing about you, you don't want to change your community. You want it to stay the same. That's right. You're not out here laboring for your people. We come out here to labor for the people. Exactly. They call the police on us. We love our brothers. Right. We love our sisters. Right. This all love. Man. We love all our brothers and sisters. We know that our brothers Go got a hard line. job out here Go trying line. to maintain Negro right like you. Because you hate your people. Give me this Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. This is the greatest love on the planet Earth. To teach your people to love themselves and stop murdering each other. No. Do you realize that your city is called Crack Town? Yeah, we know what it's called. Why would you be okay with that? Why wouldn't you want to change that perception? We don't want you Read. to Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God said not to hate our brother. We don't hate you, brother. We don't hate you. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. God said if you love somebody, you're going to tell them they wrong. Right. Right or wrong. If I love you, you my brother, I'm going to tell you when you're wrong. Guess what you're supposed to do for me? You see me going off, you're supposed to say, bruh. That's not right. Don't do that. That's all we doing, brother. Right. Right. That's all we trying. That's what it is. Read again. You you thou thou, thou shalt not hate thy brother, brother in thine heart. heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. 
God said not to suffer sin upon our brothers. You we love you enough to not suffer sin upon you. you. Work, work, if we see you about to sell work, dope, we work. stop you. Right. If we see you about to murder somebody, we stop you. you. you if we see you about to commit you adultery, you we stop you. That's what, what we here for now. You're not letting us do it. Right. Come on. You are here Thou shalt not offend nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Read it here. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We ain't got no grudge against you. Well, what you doing? We love you, bro. Well, we come out here to show love. No, no. You, you listen, 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 listen. I didn't say you was a crackhead. Yeah, you said. We got it on camera. Did I say you was a crackhead? I never say you was a crackhead. You take care of my No, I said, I said, I said I men like you deep, are not you able to take care of their kids with that type of spirit that you got, bro. That's all I said. Really? Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. God said not to avenge or bear any grudge against the children of our people. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? God says do not bear any grudge or avenge your people or go against your people. That's all we here to do is show love. Give me that real quick in uh, John chapter 13 verse 34. All we here to do is show love, to stop our brothers and sisters from doing the wickedness that they're in. I'll pray well to care. That's a beautiful thing, bro. I'm glad you married. That's a beautiful thing. We ain't down to you if you married, good. That's a beautiful thing. If you married, that's a beautiful thing, brother. We're not against you that. You understand? John chapter 13 and verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. We, I didn't I say, I didn't say, around. listen, I didn't say you sold I dope. People, I said your young brothers do it. You understand? I didn't say you sold dope. See, I said no, it's brothers you in your community that sell dope. Though. Is it good to sell dope? It's good to do whatever you got to do. See that? You, you, see that? you see this? You see this? You got to do whatever you got to do. Give me that real quick do. in First you Timothy chapter like 6, you. verse 10, man. Because you ain't helping them. We don't help you, but we can't help you with money. No money is not going to help the community. No right. Our money is black people. No That's not going to help us. No we got to learn the gospel. That's right. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For no the money. love of money is we the root no of no all evil. evil. That's what we just saw. I asked the brother, was it okay to sell drugs? He said, do anything you can do to make money for your family. That's not right. You got to Read eat. it again. For the love of money is the root of all evil. That love of money is the root of evil. Hey, you will kill your money. own people for money. That makes no sense. No Read. Nigga, I said Rich, take while care some coming after. Why you can't get a job take care of your family? You don't need no job. You don't need no job. What you mean on your job? You don't need no job. Well, so selling what dope you need to do is so come dope together dope as one piece of selling dope under one flag it's selling and standing on the damn reparations. It's illegal, brother. Because we're the richest people this in the world. This man said we need reparations. And the poor people in the world. Our mind ain't right for reparations, brother. I know because you won't stick together. Black men, mind ain't right. Like, we out here teaching the people. You, you, you can't against us. You teaching them the same shit. I'm teaching them the gospel. We teaching our people the gospel to love their neighbors themselves. That's right. Read it again. That's right. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covenant after, they have earned from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. It said pierced themselves through with many sorrows. The love of money is the root of all evil. Ain't nobody loving no money. You just, said, you just said that. I said loving their family. They but the got Bible don't tell you you can sell dope. Family. Give me that real quick. The Bible didn't say you did. The Bible didn't say don't. 22 verse 15. He said the Bible didn't say to sell drugs. The Bible said thou shalt not kill. The Bible said be sober minded. This ain't the white man book. This is the blackest book on earth. You an idiot. You don't know the Bible. You an idiot. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 15. Listen, How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Verse 16. He that oppresseth the poor. Wait a minute. The Bible say what? Read it again. He that oppresseth the poor. Is selling drugs to brothers oppressing them? Say what? If I sell you drugs, is that oppressing you? Is that oppressing me? No. I'm oppressing oh myself. Oh my God. For buying the If I sell drugs, drugs to somebody and they can't think, you they, they're too yourself. lazy to get up and go get a job. No, is you that oppression? yourself. Yes. I go with myself. That's oppression. You go with Read yourself. Read it again. We didn't come over here separate. We came over here together. No. Okay. We came here together. together. You just said stick together, stick but then now you say every man for himself. That makes no sense. You double time. You double minded. You double minded. Read it again. He that oppresses the poor. To increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall. Wait, hold on, listen. The Bible says he that oppresses the poor to increase his riches. If I'm a drug dealer and I got buku money, but my people are getting shot, my people are on dope. I'm just increasing my riches while they down. Right. God said, "Don't do that." Right. God says, "Don't do that." 
You said it's You just said I said you just said I said he was soldier. No, you said it's all right. He's so messed up in the head he can't think clearly. Oh no, no, he just said that. Read again. Cause you don't He that oppresses the poor to increase his to increase his riches. And he that give it to the rich shall surely come to want. You hear that? The Bible tell us. I don't care. The Bible tell us that we shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't increase our riches through evil. We shouldn't do that. Thank That's you. what the Bible said. Well, Give me that real quick. And so Rock 15, Thank verse 11. Bring it up. Bring it up. God tell him. I'm just doing what God wants to say, brother. God says, if I should increase my riches and push my people down in the ground. So, That's what God said. So, so if I'm a so, dope dealer and I'm making a lot of money, and the people in the community are poor because I'm selling that to them, that's evil. That is evil. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 11. Say not thou. It is through the... Where is it? It's chapter 5, verse 8. We're going to teach the Bible, bro. Nigga, as you got to work me, square on my back and kill me. The book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 8. Set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten. God said, don't set your heart upon goods unjustly gotten. I'm going to give you another example. The brothers that sell dope in the community, they can't get no bank account. <laughs> if you, you can't get no 401k. You can't get a retirement plan for that. You have nothing set up for that. If you're doing illegal activity, you can't push that through to get taxes. This is what we are here to teach. If you're doing illegal activity in the community, God says you're getting your riches unjustly, and that's evil. Right. That's what we teach you. We come out here all the time to teach the truth of the Bible. Yes, we teach sir. you to love your neighbor as yourself. Stop doing dope. Stop killing each other. Respect the laws of the land. That's what we teach. That's right. And everybody that knows us know we teach our people to respect the laws of the land. That's what we do. And if a problem, brother got a problem with that, they got a problem with God. God tells us to peace right. the peace of the city. That's, right. That's what we're doing. We're seeking the peace of the city to teach brothers and sisters to stop doing evil. God says, stop doing evil. That's right. Give me that real quick, Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it up. Bring it up. What you don't understand, this is a spiritual war we in. God got a problem with the brothers and sisters in Canton for the evil that they're doing. That's why you are with you don't even know the book of Hosea, is. chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. The Lord tell us, hear the word of the Lord, children of Israel. We God's people, God tell us to listen. Listen to what he say. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God has a controversy with us here in Canton. Read. Because there is no truth. Because we don't be truthful with one another. Read. No mercy. We don't have mercy on one another. We shoot each other dead in the streets. We fight each other, we lie to each other, we have no mercy on each other here in Canton. Read. No knowledge of God in the land. And there's no knowledge of God here in our communities. Go ahead. By swearing. By swearing, we swear. And lying. We lie on each other. And killing. We kill each other. Read. And stealing. And we steal from each other. And committing adultery. And we commit adultery with each other's wives and husbands. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth